Hello everyone, this is Andrea from Verbling.com and this is a reading and pronunciation class where we will read poems as usual. Uh, we read poems together, you listen to the poem, I talk about the meanings of different words and phrases, you'll come out with some new vocabulary and also some good pronunciation work. Everyone will take turns reading the poem and I will help you with your pronunciation. Uh, so that involves vowels, consonants, syllable stress, word stress, and intonation. Uh, we will be working on all of those things. I am American, so it will be with an American U.S. accent. Um, that is what we will be working on in our pronunciation. So if you are wanting to sound more like a U.S. native speaker, this is a good class for you. Uh, and you'll get to read some funny poems as well. I have three poems today. Um, and they are all a little bit different. They're all by the same poet. Um, they have some very funny things, funny and some unusual things that happen in them. So hopefully you'll come and get some work on your pronunciation as well. Hi, Victor. Hello, Andrea. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Great. Good to see you. I'm glad to see you as well. <laughs> you are a veteran of reading and pronunciation classes. You come here often. It's good. Your pronunciation is getting much better, by the way. I, I hope it's, it will be, will be, <laughs> will be, uh, how to say, <laughs> perfect or ideal. <laughs> ideal, yeah. Yeah, ideal. you can say ideal. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We'll get started really soon. Uh, running mm -hmm. out of, of Roald Dahl poems. He's the guy who was writing the, the poem about like Cinderella and the, the Little Red Riding Hood poem. I'm almost out of poems that are long enough for us to read <laughs> by him. But he does have some books. Maybe I'll get a book of his and then we can use that. He's got a lot of really good poems. But I have a, this other poet. Um, if poet that we used on Monday, two, two days ago. It'll be good. We'll get started pretty soon. Um, let's see, which one should we do first? Let's do, let's do this one first. So this is a link for the first poem that we'll be doing today. Is this your first verbing class of the day, Victor? No, today it's second class. Okay. What did you do earlier? Early, I uh, I was with uh, Chad Hansen. We just re uh, just read. Okay, reading. Reading that. We Good. was reading. We were reading. We were reading. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. And what what did you read? Was it a a story? A story, the short short simple story, and uh, I almost understand. That. Okay. <laughs> That's good. But if you have a link, then later when you learn more words and you get more comfortable with the grammar, you can go back to it and say, oh, that's what that was. Your links uh, opened with error. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Oh, really? Okay. It's my internet, maybe. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Let's see. Error, 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 error. Wow. <laughs> Is it saying error in your on the Hangout? No. Uh, when I opened uh, your link, it uh, shows me error. Oh, really? Hmm. Let's look at it. It's only for me. I think it, uh, my my provider. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it it uh, sometimes happened. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, also, if you're in a, a different country, then sometimes things change based on, on mm -hmm. what you can see can change a lot with the Internet providers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would, um, when we moved here from yeah. the U.S., we were good on the Internet, and we would try to, to find something that... Um, we would try to just go to a regular American website, but it said, you can't get to this website in this country. We were like, yes, what? Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, not usually, but uh, very rarely I I saw it. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't happen <laughs> even, so often. Even poems, uh, I don't know why poems. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Far, forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, I promise that this is not a controversial poem. It's just just a fun poem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know why it's doing that. Ah, they they <laughs> they blocks uh, even sight. Uh, no, I don't know how to say. I it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's um let's say hi to Maria. Hi, Maria. Hey, good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Doing well. Good to see you. In our morning pronunciation class. And it's not morning where Joy is. Hi, Joy. Hi, teacher. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great, great. Good to see you guys. We'll get started really soon. Um, this is um, poems by the same poet from on Monday. These poets, if you like these kinds of poems, his name is Shel Silverstein. He writes a lot of really funny poems and song lyrics too. He's, he was a really, really talented guitar player, a guitarist, and he wrote lots of song lyrics and also a lot of funny poems geared towards children, so um, and children and adult like children and adults like them a lot. So we'll be reading three from him today. I think they're all a little bit shorter than the poems we usually use in this class, so maybe we will get to read all of them. Um, but I think we should have a few more people coming today. So let's go ahead and get started. So you see the link in the chat box. And let me get my screen up. This poem is called If the World Was Crazy. You guys can listen to me read. And same thing as usual, I'll read, you'll read, I'll work with you on pronunciation. If you don't know a word or if you don't understand what's happening in the poem, then just tell me and then we will talk about it too. So you can maybe learn some new words today as well. Uh, Joy will go first. Yes. We'll do this first section. If the world was crazy, you know what I'd eat? A big slice of soup and a whole quart of meat. A lemonade sandwich, and then I might try some roasted ice cream or a bicycle pie. A nice notebook salad, an underwear roast, an omelet of hats, and some crisp cardboard toast. A thick malted milk made from pencils and daisies, and that's what I'd eat if the world was crazy. If the world was crazy, you know what? I to eat a big slice of soup and a whole quart of meat, a lemonade sandwich, and then I might try some roasted ice cream or a bicycle pie, a nice notebook salad, an underwear roast, and an omelette of pass and some crisps. Chris, Cardboard toast, a thick melt, malted milk made from pencils, a diocese, a that's what I'd eat if I were world was crazy. Okay, great. So here in this poem, he's saying if everybody's crazy in the world, if um if the world is um not thinking straight, if it's um gone crazy, then these are all the things that you would eat, and these are all, f they, these all are related to food, but they are kind of unusual, very uncommon things to eat. Some of them are not food. Um, here we have the word um, slice. Can you say that word? Slice. A slice is like a, a piece of something. Uh, for example, if you have a pie or a cake, you can have a slice of pie. You can also have a slice of pizza. And here we have a slice of soup. Soup is a liquid, so that does not work so well <laughs> normally. You cannot cut soup because it's... Mm -hmm. let's, let's say um, this phrase, big slice of soup. Big slice of soup. Mm -hmm. Good. And then down here, same kind of thing. 
This word is lemonade. Lemonade. Uh, so first, first syllable will be the strongest part. Lemonade. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. So lemonade is a drink. It's made out of lemons and water and sugar. Like it's kind of like lemon juice, but not so sour. So here he's got a sandwich made out of a drink, which is also crazy. Let's say a lemonade sandwich. A lemonade sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then sandwich will also have the first syllable a little bit stronger. Lemonade sandwich. Lemonade sandwich. Good, good. Okay, um, let's see. We have Ahmed in our class. Hi, Ahmed. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Okay. Um, so here, a slice of soup and a lemonade sandwich are, he says, foods that are made out of liquids, things that are, are watery, so that's very crazy. Um, a quart is kind of like a liter, and here he's talking about meat that is measured in, in liters or milliliters or quarts, and that's also kind of crazy. Um, let's also say, um, Joy, the word roasted. Roasted. Mm -hmm. Roasted things are um, cooked at a high heat, or maybe they are cooked on a fire. That's something that is roasted. So ice cream is cold, but here it's roasted. That's also crazy cooked ice cream. Um, let's say this roasted ice cream. Roasted ice cream. Mm -hmm. cream. One more time with ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. And then roasted ice cream. Roasted ice cream. Mm -hmm. Good. And bicycle. 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 Say um, it looks like cycle here, but um, the second part of the word will pronounce it sickle. Bicycle. Bicycle. Uh huh. And more on by. Bi. Bicycle. Bicycle. Uh huh. And let's say this line some roasted ice cream or a bicycle pie. Some roasted. Oh, sorry. Some roasted ice cream or bicycle pie. Mm -hmm. Good. So bicycle is um, also another word for bicycle is a bike and it has two wheels and you can ride it. You, um, often you can ride it around the city <laughs> and so here we have a pie made out of bicycle which is crazy because you can't eat a bicycle. Um, let's see, we also have the word crisp Crips, clip, crisp. Uh huh. Crisp. Crisp. Yep. So something that is crisp, it's not soft. It's kind of crunchy. It might be. Um, you can. It's not um, hard like you can't eat it, but it's. It's um. What What are things that are crisp? Um, crackers can be crisp. Some cereals can be crisp. It's kind of kind of crunchy. Um, kind of light light and crunchy, crisp. Um, and this word is malted. Malted. Mm -hmm. Malted. Uh -huh. So it has a, it's a kind of milk that malted milk is just a certain kind of milk. And let's say the word pencils. Pencils. Mm -hmm. And daisies. Daisies. Yeah, daisies are, it's a kind, a daisy is a kind of flower. So here he has this kind of milk, and the milk has pencils and, and flowers, daisies in it. So that is, that is also crazy. Let's do this line. A thick malted milk made from pencils and daisies. A thick milked milk made from pencils and daisies. Ooh, one more time with malted milk. Malted milk. Mm hmm and one more time with this line. A thick malted milk made from pencils and daisies. Good, good. And now say this: these two words, I'd eat. I'd eat. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what I'd eat if the world was crazy. And that's what I'd eat if the world was crazy. Okay, great. Good job. So, all these crazy foods that are not really food, or it is、um, a food in a strange form, <laughs> that is what he would eat if everything in the world were crazy. He would eat crazy foods as well. Good. Thank you, Tisha. Okay. And let's say hi to Vincenzo. Hi, Vincenzo. Hey. Hi, Tisha. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Fine. Thanks. Great. We are just in time for our poem about if、yes. if the world were crazy. Okay, Maria will go next. The next section. Okay. If the world was crazy, you know what I'd wear: a chocolate suit and a tie of eclair, some marshmallow earmuffs, some licorice shoes, and I'd read a paper of peppermint news. I'd call the boys Susie and I'd call the girls Harry. I talk through my ears, and I always would carry a paper umbrella for when it grew hazy to keep in the rain if the world was crazy. And this this word is umbrella, not umbrella. It's a typo, so it should be U M B R E L L A instead.、Okay. So instead of N M. Okay, go ahead. If if the world was crazy, you know what I wear. A chocolate sweet and a tie of eclair, some marshmallow, remove some lic licorice shoes, and I read a paper of peppermint news. I call the boy Susie and I call the girls Harry. I talk through my ears, and I always will carry. A paper umbrella for when it grow grow hazy to keep in the rain if the world was crazy. All right, thank you. So talking about more things that he would do if the world were crazy. If the world was crazy,、um, let's go with these two words. I'd wear. I'd wear. You know what I'd wear. You know what I wear. I wear. You know what I wear.、Mm -hmm. Good. And I like how you made your voice go up at the end because it's a question here. That's good.、Um, and also say this first word if. If. Yeah. So work more towards if and、um, not if. 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 Uh huh. Good.、Um, and world. World and crazy, 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 crazy. If the world was crazy, if the world was was crazy. Oh, careful with your if, not if, but if. One more time. If the world was crazy, if the world was crazy. One more time with the word if. If. Yes, that's better. When you are saying that vowel sound, i, make sure your tongue is a little bit lower in your mouth. If your tongue is high in your mouth, if it, if your tongue is up, then that makes the e sound. But if you drop your tongue, make your tongue go down, then you can get the i sound more easily.、Uh, one more time with this phrase: If the world was crazy. If the world Was crazy. Okay, and let's go to、um, eclair. Eclair.、Mm -hmm. Eclair is a kind of sweet food. It's maybe a kind of dessert. It's like a a pastry. It's kind of like a donut. It has、um, cream in it. So he says he's going to wear food. He's going to wear chocolate, and he's going to also his tie is going to be made out of a a pastry here. So that is that is also definitely crazy.、Um, also, say the word chocolate for me. Chocolate. Yeah. So it looks like chocolate, but with、um, U.S. pronunciation, we say only two syllables: chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. It, so do it when you say it. Just ignore this middle O. Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh huh. Good. 
Let's do this line. A chocolate suit and a tie of eclair. A chocolate suit and a tie of eclair. Suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. So something, a uh, very nice clothes that men wear. Suit. One more time with this line. A chocolate suit and a tie of eclair. A chocolate suit and a tie of eclair. Mm -hmm. And now this is another kind of candy, marshmallow. Marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Earmuffs. 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 Yeah, can you um, can you try not to uh, flip your R? Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Okay, let's go to some marshmallow earmuffs. Some marshmallow earmuffs. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Some marshmallow earmuffs. Some marshmallow earmuffs. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, so here his earmuffs. It's um, not like headphones, but they, they look kind of like headphones. They keep your ears warm in the cold. So he will have his earmuffs made out of candy, out of marshmallow. Um, and then this word is licorice. 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 Not licorice, but licorice. Licorice. Closer, closer. One more time. Licorice. Licorice. Okay. L licorice. Li licorice. Licorice. Yes, getting closer. Um, it's it still sounds more like licorice. So work work more on that i sound. And the more you listen to it, the the easier it will get. So that's something just to practice over time. Um, so his shoes and his earmuffs will be made of kind of kinds of candy, marshmallows and licorice. Um, and then this is another candy, peppermint. Peppermint. One more time, peppermint. Peppermint. Mm -hmm. And I'd read a paper of peppermint news. And I'd read a paper on peppermint news. And I'd read a paper of peppermint news. And I read a paper of peppermint news. Peppermint. Peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yes, so peppermint and not peppermint. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, a kind of mint candy. All right, and talk. Talk. Mm -hmm. I talk through my ears. I talk through my ears. Mm -hmm. Which is also crazy. We talk through our mouths and not our ears. <laughs> and <laughs> yes. And let's see, also um, grew. Guru. And then this word is hazy. Hazy. If it's hazy outside, it's not very clear. Maybe it's very cloudy. And it maybe it is raining also. So uh, not a very nice day outside. Weather is not good if it's hazy. Um, let's say, for when it grew hazy. 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 Grew. Grew. Mm -hmm. And one more time. For when it grew hazy. For when it grew hazy. Mm -hmm. So when the weather is bad, he has an umbrella made out of paper, and he wants it to keep in the rain, which is the opposite of what a, an umbrella does. An umbrella keeps rain out, keeps you dry, but he wants to keep the rain in, which is also crazy. So the umbrella does the opposite of what it should do. Let's do this last line here. To keep in the rain if the world was crazy. To keep in the rain if the world was crazy. Yes, okay. So when you're practicing your pronunciation, uh, work on this short I sound, like if, it, uh, licorice, that I sound. Try to, to work more towards I and less, uh, less with E. In Spanish, it is E all the time when you have an I, but in English, we have other sounds with it, too. So just be aware of that. That's something to practice, that is sound for you. All right. Thank you. Oh, thanks, teacher. Okay. Uh, Victor will go next. Okay.
If the world was crazy, you know what I'd do? I'd walk on the ocean and swim in my shoe. I'd fly through the ground and I'd skip through the air. I'd run down the bathtub and bathe on the stair. When I meet when I when I meet someone, I'd say goodbye, Joe. And when I was leaving, then I'd say hello. And the greatest of men would be silly and lazy, so I would be king if the world was crazy. If the world was crazy, you know what I'd do. I'd walk on the ocean and swim in my shoe. I'd fly through the ground and I'd skip through the air. I'd run down the bathtub and bathe on the stair. When I met somebody, I'd say goodbye, Joe. And when I was leaving, then I'd say hello. And the greats of men will be silly and lazy. So I will be king if the world was crazy. Okay, good. Uh, crazy or crazy? Oh, that's crazy. That's a typo. Mm -hmm. I don't know why there, this website has, has mistakes in the typing. It doesn't seem that difficult. But yeah, that's crazy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not crazy. That's not a word. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll find a different website because this one has too many mistakes in it. It's not so good if you're looking at spelling, too. Okay, um, let's go with the word ocean. Ocean. I'd walk on the ocean. I'd walk on the ocean. Okay, now, um, there are different ways that we pronounce this word, T-H-E. We have um, the and also the. The. Usually, if it's before a word that starts with a vowel sound, we pronounce it the, the ocean. Mm -hmm. So let's I'd, do, yeah, I'd, I'd walk on the ocean. I'd walk on the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes um, we will use the, even if the next word starts with a consonant, just to make it stronger, too. Mm -hmm. So it's not all the time it has to be with a vowel sound, but usually... If the next word has a vowel sound, we'll, we'll say the instead of the. Um, and then let's say um, through. Through. Mm -hmm. And ground. Ground. I'd fly through the ground. I'd fly through the ground. Mm -hmm. Which is also crazy. You can't, cannot fly in the ground. You can maybe run on the ground or walk on the ground, but... Flying and, and the ground don't mix very well. They can't do those together so much. Um, and then let's say, um, I'd skip. I'd skip. Mm -hmm. I'd skip through the air. I'd skip through the air. Mm -hmm. There's another thing where you would say the, because mm -hmm. air starts with a vowel sound. I'd skip through the air. I'd skip through the air. Mm -hmm. And be careful, skip and not skip. 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 Okay, good. Let's do this line. I'd fly through the ground and I'd skip through the air. I'd fly through the ground and I'd skip through the air. Good. And also, I'd run. I'd run. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, here, bathe. Bathe. And stair. Stair. And bathe on the stair. And bathe on the stair. Mm -hmm. I'd run down the bathtub and bathe on the stair. I'd run down the bathtub and bathe on the stair. Okay, good. So these verbs are switched. Usually when you run, you can run on stairs, help you go to the next floor of a building, and bathing, give, cleaning yourself, taking a bath, that is done in the bathtub. So here he's he's running in the place where you bathe, and he's bathing on the place that you run, which is also crazy. Everything in this poem is about crazy things that happen. Um, and let's say also greatest. Greatest. Mm -hmm. So more of a D sound here with this first T, greatest. Greatest. Mm -hmm. And the greatest of men would be silly and lazy. And the greatest of men would be silly and lazy. Mm -hmm. Say would. Would. Uh -huh. Would be silly and lazy. 
would be silly and lazy. Mm -hmm. And now let's do the last line. So I would be king if the world was crazy. So I would be king if the world was crazy. Okay, good. So usually in the in a normal world, if you are a great person, the greatest of men, the most the, the most successful, if you are the greatest of men, you are probably not silly or lazy. Maybe you probably work very hard. But here, the world is crazy, so maybe the opposite is true here. So the the best people, the most successful people, have these qualities, poor qualities. They're silly and they're lazy. Because of that, the guy talking would be the king, <laughs> because maybe he is silly and lazy. Maybe he's the silliest and laziest. <laughs> and then he can be the greatest person in the world. All right, good. So that's a little bit of a shorter poem. Uh, we have Ramon in our class. Hi. Hi. Is this your first class with me? Um, yes, in my first class. Great. Nice to meet you. Mm, nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? I'm Mexico. Mexico, okay, great. Yes. Good to see you. Glad to have new people in class. So mm. that's, um, we just finished that poem. I have a couple more poems so everybody gets time to read. Does anyone have questions over this poem? Any words in this one? Mm. I have a question. Okay. Umbrella, it is not usual sport or umbrella. Uh, let's see, let's, let's look at an umbrella. An umbrella you use in the rain keeps you dry. It's, uh, I know, but, uh, yeah. but, but there is an umbrella. Oh, that's also a typing mistake. It's, it's uh, uh, with an M, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I think, I think it's un, un, like unusual. Un oh, useless, un, no, no. <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> umbrella, yes. Sorry, Opp will, opposite opposite will, umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I will use a different website for, for these from now on because there's there was a spelling mistake. Yeah, it's umbrella. Okay. I see. Yes, good. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go to another poem. Um, I'll give you the link. And then let's get this on the screen, too. This one is by the same poet, and it's called Clarence. Okay, and we'll go to um, Vincenzo for this one. You'll start this poem for us. Yes. Okay, um, down to fit much tighter. Clarence Lee from Tennessee loved the commercials he saw on TV. He watched with wide believing eyes and bought everything they advertised. Cream to make his skin feel better, spray to make his hair look wetter, bleach to make his white things whiter, stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Clarence Lee from Tennessee loved the commercial he saw on TV. He watched with the wide believing eyes and bought everything they advertised. Cream to make his skin feel better, spray to make his hair look wetter, bleach to make his white things whiter, stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Okay, good. So this guy really likes commercials, advertisements that he sees on TV to make everything better for him, to improve everything in his life. And he believes everything that the commercial says. And in the word commercial, Vincenzo, the second syllable will be stronger. Commercial. Com com commercials. Commercials. Yes, commercials. Commercials. Mm-hmm. And say, loved the commercials. Loved the commercials. Mm -hmm. Good. And this is believing. 
believing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so second syllable also strong there. Commercials, Belie believing. Believing. Mm -hmm. Believing, Be E sound in the middle. Believing. 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 Uh huh. Good. Uh, and uh, Ramon, you can practice, but um, I'm going to mute your microphone so you can practice and then we can just hear. Uh, let's do this line. He watched with wide believing eyes. He watched with wide believing eyes. So, in, yeah, middle of, of believing, more, not believing, but believing, a little bit higher tongue. Believing eyes. Believing eyes. Okay. And then advertised. Advertised. Mm -hmm. So advertised here with advertise or advertisement. Um, the first syllable would be strong. Advertised. Advertised. Mm -hmm. And bought everything they advertised. And bought everything they had advertised. Uh-huh. And his skin. His skin. Yes. Now you can connect those two words because his ends with an S and skin begins mm. with an S. His skin. His skin. Mm -hmm. Cream to make his skin feel better. Cream to make his skin feel better. Uh huh. Now here, these all three better, wetter, mm -hmm. and whiter, and tighter. All, actually, four. Um, these words all have T in the middle of the word, so yeah. you can make it D. Say yeah, yes. bet. Yeah, better. Yeah. Better. Wetter. Wetter. Wider. Wider. Tighter. Tighter. Uh huh. And now with tighter, the the beginning T is always the T, -t sound. Yeah. The middle one is a D sound. Very tricky. Tighter. Tighter, yeah. Tighter. Mm -hmm. So let's go with um, spray to make his hair look wetter. Spray to make his hair look wetter. Mm -hmm. And say white things wider. White things wider. Mm -hmm. And fit much tighter. Fit much tighter. Mm -hmm. Tighter. No, fit much tighter. Tighter. Yes. Tied, Yes. Uh, yeah. So, so the first T is a true t, t sound. Yes. yes very Second T is a T sound. Yeah. Tighter. 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 Yes. Um, and then let's say this word stylish. Stylish. Mm -hmm. So, it's very trendy right now. It's um, it's very fashionable. Looks very good. It's in. You say that too. Let's do this line. Stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Oh dear. <laughs> One more time. Stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Stylish jeans that fit much tighter. Yes. There you go. Good. Mm. Good. Good. Um. T good sound. Good yeah. consonants <laughs> and tighter there. All right, so this guy likes to look at commercials on TV, advertisements, and he believes all of them. And he always buys everything that uh, everything in the commercials. He buys them because he thinks. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, yes. teacher. But when you are pronouncing the T, you know, in this way, you know, that is very uh, sharp. Let me say sharp. Uh, you are going to open your mouth uh, in my. Uh, to clo also uh, close at the same time your mouth in order to pronounce the T, t because it's very, <laughs> very <laughs> sharp, you know, very, very, yes, in the cutting, you know, how can I say, in this T, no? When your you, T is different yeah. from our Ita Italian T, no? Yes. Yeah, it's not so much about your your mouth being open, it's when you make the T, that sound, it's t um, the, some air <laughs> is um, exploding from your tongue. No, so it's, it's more about the it's more about where your tongue is against the roof of your mouth. The tongue the tongue against the, the top part of your mouth. And then, it's it seems like a 
chi, chi, chew is chew, 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 like it's, it's chi when I pronounce in chewing gum. Chewing it's, gum. it's related to that. They're, they're very similar sounds, the CH and the T. Yes, yeah. the CH, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. chewing gum. Yeah. Chew, chew, chew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, your tongue is a little bit different in each one, but it's kind of this, the same idea. There's some some air that explodes out of your tongue. Yes, yes. During, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very similar words, similar sounds, the t and the ch. Very, very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Yes, good question. All right, let's go to the next part of the poem. This will be for Ahmed. And down to hurry, order yours today. Toothpaste for his cavities, powder for his doggy's fleas, purple mouthwash for his breath, deodorant to stop his sweat. He bought each cereal they presented, bought each game that they invented. Then one day he looked and saw a brand new maw, a better paw, new, improved in every way. Hurry, order yours today. Toothpaste for his cavity, powder for his duckies fleas, purple mouthwash for his breath. Don't rent to stop his sweet. He bought each cereal, cereal they presented. Bought each game they that they invented. Then one day he looked and saw a brand new mind, a bitter ball. New improve in every way. Harry, order yours today. Okay, so he sees all, he he's still buying all of these products, and then he sees an advertisement for a brand new ma and a better pa. Ma is a slang for mother. Pa is a slang for father. So you can get better parents. Is this advertisement, which is very silly. You can't advertise people, but um, he sees an advertisement for for um, new and improved parents, and it says order your parents today. Okay, uh, first word here is toothpaste. Toothpaste. So tooth make tooth stronger. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Uh huh. And cavities. Cavities. Mm -hmm. So here. Make this T a D sound. Cavities. Cavities. Mm -hmm. Cavities are holes in your teeth. If you eat too much sugar, you can get cavities. So toothpaste can help prevent cavities. Let's do these. this line. Toothpaste for his cavities. Toothpaste for his cavities. Mm -hmm. And here, um, this word is fleas. Fleas. Fleas are little insects that um, dogs can have them. They're very small and they they bite and they make them very itchy. So dogs, dogs and cats especially can get fleas. These these insects. Uh, powder for his doggies fleas. Powder for his dogs fleas. Doggies. Doggies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's um it is his dogs, but doggy is just a a cute word for for dog. Sometimes people use that instead of dog. Okay, um and mouthwash. Mouthwash. Mm -hmm. Mouth is also so toothpaste and mouthwash. The first part of the word will be stronger. Mouthwash. 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 More more on mouth, less on wash. Mouthwash. Mouthwash. Mm hmm Good. And then this is breath. Breath. Mm hmm How what how your mouth smells. Purple mouthwash for his breath. Purple mouthwash for his breath. Mm hmm Good. Deodorant. Deodorant. Mm hmm And then this is sweat. Sweat. When you are very hot, if it is very hot outside, maybe you get some um, some liquid coming out of your skin to cool you off. That is sweat. Is when you when you become wet from being hot. Uh, deodorant to stop his sweat. Deodorant to stop his sweat. Mm -hmm. And 
This is what mean? Sorry, teacher. What mean deodorant? Deodorant is um, a a uh, substance. It's something that you put um, in your armpit um, so that you don't smell bad. It helps you to to not sweat so much. Keeps you dry. So you put deodorant right here so that you oh, no. you don't you don't stink <laughs> if you <laughs> if you sweat a lot. That's that's yeah. deodorant. Yes. I get it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and you even see the word odor in it. Odor is another word for smell. So it prevents smells. It, it stops you from smelling bad. Okay, um, and let's say invented. Invented. Yes. Bought every game that they invented. Bought each game they, they invented. Mm -hmm. And say brand new. Brand new. Mm -hmm. Completely. Brand new or yeah? Can you repeat it? Uh, brand new. Brand new. Yeah. So the D, the D, you won't, you will not say so much. Brand new. Brand new. Mm -hmm. Let's say a brand new ma, a better pa. Brand new ma, a better pa. Mm -hmm. And then with better, T turns into a D. Better. Better, mm -hmm. yes, and back here a brand new ma, a better pa. Brand new ma, a better, 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 a better pa. Yeah, so not better, but better. Better, ba. yes, there you go. Good. Brand new ma, a better pa. Mm -hmm. Better and improved. Improved. Mm -hmm. New improved in every way. New improved in every way. Mm -hmm. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry, order yours today. Hurry, order yours today. Mm -hmm. So here he sees a commercial for new parents, new, better, improved parents. We'll see what he does with that. Thanks, Ahmed. Thank you, teacher. Okay, and uh, Ramon is next. So we'll go from so, of course, and um, down to never let you stay up late. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So, of course, our little Clarence sent off for two brand new parents. The new ones came in the morning mail the old ones he sold at a garage sale, and now they all are doing fine. His new folks treat him sweet and kind. His old ones work in an old coal mine. So if your ma and pa are mean and make you eat your lima beans and make you wash and make you wait and never let you stay up late. Okay. So of course our little parents sent off for two brand new parents. The new ones come in the morning May. The old one he sold the garage and now they are, are doing fine. His new folks treat him sweet their time. His old ones work in all mine. So if you mow and bow or mean and make you eat your lima beans and make you wash and make you wait and never let you stay stay up late. Okay, good. So he has new parents now. His old ones he sells at a garage sale. A garage sale is a place where you sell all of your old things for people, very cheap, and now they, the old parents were sold at a garage sale. They work in a coal mine. It's a place underground where you get um, some material that coal, coal is used for fires. You can start a fire um, on coal, use it kind of like wood. So they're, they're going underground to get coal, and that's the job that they have now. Um, 
Let's say this third word here, Ramon. Course. 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 Uh -huh. So of course. So of course. So of course. Uh huh. And let's also just say the the word of the the name of the boy, Clarence. Our little Clarence. Uh huh. Our little Clarence. Our little Clarence. Mm -hmm. Good. Sent off. Sent off. Uh huh. When you send send something off here, uh, that means he's he's ordering new parents. He is he is placing an order at a company. He's he is requesting new parents, and he's he's buying new parents. Set off for two brand new parents. Sent off for two brand new parents. Uh huh. And then second line here has male. Mail. Mm -hmm. Mail. Morning mail. In the morning mail. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody, this is came and not cam. C A M E is what it should be. They past tense of to come. They they arrived. They came mm -hmm. in the morning mail. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, say at a garage sale. Yeah. Garage. Garage. Of the garage sale. Of just the say. Garage sale. Uh huh. Just say garage. 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 Uh huh. Garage. Uh huh. And now say. Garage, garage sale. Garage sale. Uh huh. Good. Um, the old ones he sold at a garage sale. The old ones he sold at the garage sale. Mm -hmm. Make sure that I hear the this word A here. At a garage sale. A garage uh, sale. Mm -hmm. One more time with this line. The old ones he sold at a garage sale. The old ones he sold at the garage sale. Uh huh. And doing. Um, doing. Doing fine. Uh huh. Doing. And now they all are doing fine. And now they, are uh, now they are are doing fine. Mm hmm. Good. And then, folks. Folk. Yes. Folk. Folks is a slang for parents. So his his new folk. folks, his new parents. And um, I say the L just a little bit, because I do I do pronounce the L in this one. Say his new folks. His new folks. Uh huh. Folk. And yes. down here is the word coal. Coal. Uh huh. Coal. His old ones work in an old coal mine. This all gonna work in an in an all car mine. Mm -hmm. And this is Lima. Lima. Now say Lima beans. Lima. Lima, Lima beans. Uh huh. Just a kind of beans. Lima beans. And wash. Wash. What is wash or what? Wash. Wash, okay. Yes, yeah, so the first one that you said, wash. And make you wash and make you wait. Uh, and make you wash and make you wait. Uh-huh. And stay. Uh, stay. Uh -huh. Stay up. And now say I never let you stay up late. Uh huh. Yes. So with stay, especially um, if your first language is Spanish, that's it's important to make sure you are saying stay and not stay. So just be aware of that. Okay. And let you stay, stay up late. Uh huh. One more time with this stay last line that you read and never.
I'll never let you stay up late. And never let you stay up late. I'll never let you stay up late. Huh, there you go. Good. All right. Thanks, Ramon. Okay. Let's. Um, we don't have too much time, but we can look at how the poem ends. So these, um, these new parents are very, very sweet. It's another word for nice. They're very kind. Also, they're very, very nice people to their new son. Um, and then here, um, so all these things, if your ma and pa are mean, if they are not nice to you, if they make you eat lima beans, which is a kind of, just a kind of bean, not everybody likes lima beans, so maybe they, they're healthy, but they, the children don't want to eat them. Uh, if they make you wait, if they make you wait for, for, um, maybe for dessert or for something good, um, they never let you stay up late. You have to go to bed early. Um, and then the ending, and scream and scold and preach and pout. That simply means they're wearing out. So send off for two brand new parents, and you'll be happy as little Clarence. So um, this is very, a very silly poem. You obviously cannot buy your parents, but it says Clarence got some nicer parents after ordering them from a TV commercial. So um, here it says um, if they're screaming, if they're yelling, if they're scolding, if they're they're speaking to you and they're very angry at you, um, and they're maybe they're yelling at you and they're saying, you did this wrong, that is scolding. Uh, preaching is when you you have an idea, you are you are um, telling somebody that they should do something. And pouting is a, a facial expression. It's kind of like frowning. You're making a, a very angry face. Your face looks very angry or sad. You're pouting that way. Um, if that's happening, if your parents are, are mean, if they are not nice to you, they're making you do things you don't want to do, that means they're wearing out. That means they're getting old, and they are maybe it's time for them to, to get replaced is... <laughs> What they're saying here, if something wears out, it's um, it's getting it's getting too old. It's used. People have used it too much. Maybe um, parts of it are getting weaker. And so here you could get brand new people, brand new parents, and you'll be happy, just as happy as this little boy with his new parents here. So it's very very um. Uh, tongue-in-cheek, kind of a, a silly poem, not meant to be taken seriously. You should not order new parents from a TV commercial, but that's what this guy, this was, is what this kid Clarence did with his new parents. Any questions over this one? No. No? No. Okay, uh, we are about out of time, so um, I need to go to my next class. I'm doing a debate class next, so um, maybe some of you might be interested in uh, being in the debate or watching the the debate too. Uh, we'll be doing talking all about um, making decisions. So that's coming up, um, and then those are my last lessons for today. But I have some more tomorrow. So check those out. You can follow me on Verbling, and um, also you can see my Facebook page in the chat box. So I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, maybe I'll see you soon. Thank you, Andy. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Thank you later. Thank you, everyone.